हेलो एंड नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल डीआईवाई विद सिनी आई पोस्ट क्राफ्टी डीआईवाई वीडियोस हियर सो इफ यू लाइक क्रिएटिंग स्टफ ऑन योर ओन देन कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग इन टुडेस वीडियो आई एम शेयरिंग फाइव सुपर क्रिएटिव आइडियाज फॉर एनिवर्सरी गिफ्ट्स यू कैन क्रिएट दिस ब्यूटीफुल क्राफ्ट्स एंड गिव देम एज एन एनिवर्सरी गिफ्ट टू योर पार्टनर और योर मोम एंड डैड और न्यूली वेड कपल These gifts are also great for birthdays and Valentines. So hang in there till end cuz last gift is my personal favorite. Also, today's video is requested by Ayushi Gupta. Thank you so much dear for your suggestion. Now go get your crafting supplies and let's make some DIY anniversary gifts. First Protect your work surface with some silicone or rubber mat. Then you will need some air dry clay. Then roll that evenly with rolling pin or any cylindrical object. Then trace and cut a circle. Mine is about five inches in diameter. Use water to smooth down any rough surface. Next, take any dish and place that circular clay on top. Then, leave it aside to dry for at least 48 hours. Once it's dry, then use fine grit sandpaper to smooth down any rough edges. Next, I am using this white gesso as a base coat to my dish. If you don't have this, then you can use white acrylic paint. When I was brainstorming for anniversary gifts, then within a few seconds, this symbol came to my mind, which describes how seemingly opposite forces may actually be complementary and how they can give rise to each other as they interrelate to one another. And that sign is yin yang. I am painting yin yang with sun and moon design. I am using white acrylic paint to paint moon and stars. Then seal everything using Mod Podge. This will prevent paint from chipping. You can use any acrylic varnish you have at home. And our super minimalistic yet beautiful couple trinket dish is ready. You can also use this as a ring holder. This can also be a great room decor piece. when you hang it on wall i'm going to wrap this trinket dish with some craft paper chocolates and handmade tag because handmade gifts are always very special now let's hop on to our next diy gift idea to make this gift you will need to roll air dry clay as even as possible then Punch out ten hard shapes using cookie cutter. If you don't have cookie cutter at home, then you can also trace and cut the clay using a sharp knife. Add some water to smooth out any sharp edges, and then I'm going to add some details on hearts using nail art tools. Let that completely air dry, and then paint those cute heart shapes with red and pink acrylic paint.
let that completely dry and then draw X and O on hearts using gold acrylic paint. Seal those hearts with a layer of Mod Podge. Now take a cork board and cut the square according to size of your hearts. I am cutting mine to 6 by 6 inches. Now divide that square into 9 equal squares using black acrylic paint. And your tick tock toe game is ready. I love this DIY gift very much because you can personalize it with initials, favorite shapes, foods or things. This kind of board game is very relaxing for couples, especially around digital chaos, where they can put their devices off and play some old fashioned games. Now let's hop on to our third DIY gift idea. For this DIY, you will need to roll air dry clay and then cut out coffee cup shape and donut shape. Then smooth out the shape using some water. Here I am adding some cup details using ballpoint tool. Next add a hole on this charm and then let that air dry for at least 48 hours. Once it's dry, then paint this using acrylic colors. Seal those acrylic colors using a layer of Mod Podge glue. Now for donut, I am using beige acrylic color. And then I am adding glaze using pink puffy paint. Products that I am using in this video are listed in the description box down below. So please check it out. Then I am adding some fun sprinkles to my donut. Let that completely dry and then add keychain ring to the charms. And our couple keychain is ready for gifting. You can add pun card along with this gift which says together forever or we go together. I know that anyone would love to receive this super cute gift. Now let's hop on to our fourth DIY gift idea. For this, you will need to cut lips and moustache shape out of air dry clay. I am using a template to trace and cut the shape. Let it completely air dry and then I am using acrylic color to decorate it. Now seal those acrylic colors using a layer of Mod Podge. Then add magnets on the back using some strong glue and your couple fridge magnets are ready. 
To be honest, it is my least favorite DIY of this video. Speaking of which, let's hop on to our last and my most favorite DIY of this video. To make this DIY, you will need to roll a very thick slab of air dry clay. Then cut out heart shape using a cookie cutter. Next, I'm using this alphabet stamp and doily stamp by Stampin' Up. But you don't need to have these stamps or products to make this DIY. Here, I'm stamping initials and marriage date on bottom of this heart. I'm also stamping the doily shape. Then I am using this heart shape photo holder pin. You can also use binder clip instead of this. Now just insert clip on heart like I am showing here and let that dry for at least 2-3 to three days. Once it's dry then it's time to add fun colors to decorate it. I am using magenta color and I am trying to paint a gradient effect here. Next, I am highlighting stamped initials and dates using gold acrylic color. Now seal everything with a layer of Mod Podge. Next, I am adding this cute flower as an embellishment. And our heart shaped photo holder is ready. Trust me, my camera is not doing justice here because it looks very pretty in real life. I am deeply in love with this project. This personalized photo holder will surely be treasured by the receiver. You can also make this for birthdays and valentines. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you recreate any of this DIY, then please share pictures with me on Instagram with hashtag DIYWithCine. I would love to see them. Also, if you have any ideas or suggestions, then please let me know in the comment section down below. I will try my best to make that happen. If you like this video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also click on the bell icon so that you can get notifications for my next videos. For more inspiration, I handpicked these two videos for you. Have a magical day. Happy crafting.